Grand La Cubeca burst onto the Kaiser Chiefs scene, came through the academy structures. Everyone said, here's the next great defender in South African football. Went on to win two league titles with the team and was part of the team that won the Mandela Cup in 2001. Called up by Carlos Queiroz to Bafana Bafana. And then we get to the nickname that Nkonza was telling me about, Izolo. Ntatla Kovega, welcome to uh, uh, Sport at 10. How are you? I'm good. Yourself, Tommy? Almost Pio Nkonza says, Bebakbiza spelela. At now, who's spelela? Who's spelela? Who's spelela? Bebakbiza lan. He didn't put my leg on my leg spelela. I mean, I know Nkonza, basically, um, we used to tease each other. Uh. Um, because now I'm being naive, I'm being naive. So I used to call him Nkonza um, Kanda Kanda. He can't again. He can't again. Just because basically we like to do our own things. We like to have our own things. So yeah, I called. I called him. He can't again. And then Lele la ko Lele la gas pele la. Yeah, na oti we na both la lose pele la. No, to lo guli me le song is cut. So he said we want to gas pele la. True story. Not really, not really, Tommy. As I'm saying, Guti, I mean, I know, 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 But you did so, have a career that had a lot of injuries in it. Yeah, it was a, a, a huge blow for me and, and a setback for me. So, but the most important thing for me was to actually um, be strong, being a strong-minded person, you know, because my injury was always recurring. Mm. But at least I managed to actually pull through and, and continue to play, you know, because there was a time whereby uh, I went to Cape Town for a specialist and he declared that I was going to play for, I think it was 2002. Um, Still early in your yeah. career, 2002. Yes, and he declared that obviously um, I was going to play for six months uh, because he gave me a, a, an injection, steroids injection. Uh. And then he declared that I was going to play for six months, but I've managed to, to pull through. You know. So this doctor, let's just get this straight. This doctor, you go to the, see the specialist at in six months' time, yeah. Pelili pola la guele, injari ngegi lunge, just enjoy the next six months and it's over. You went on to play for years and years, 2009. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a difficult um, uh, 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 thing to swallow, you know, because at that time when I came out of, of, of his office, I was like, no, this is not on, you know, it's not going to be the end of my career. Mm. So I had, as I'm saying, that I had to be strong minded um, uh, coming out of that office because. You know, I had to go under, uh, uh, I mean, through a lot. And I had to, like, obviously, even the team uh, at that time, they were like, no, man, let's just give you a job. Like, you know, what was that part of your body that was giving you the problems? It, it was a groin injury. Groin? You know, apparently, I had a hip, a hip problem, but it was affecting my, gro my groin. So apparently, even the doctor said, you know what, you are too quick or too fast, you know, to, to actually handle your, your, your muscles basically can't handle your, 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 your speed and power. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Wow. Okay, I didn't really know that about you. However, you are also part of some great Kaiser Chiefs teams, some wonderful trophies that have brought into the cabinet. Is your highlight the Mandela Cup 2001? Or is there another moment in your Chiefs career that you go, that for me was my highest point? Um... I think winning the Mandela Cup, you know, it, it was um, uh, uh, the, best, uh, the best um highlight of my career, you know, because... Nike. It's a combo that I have to Against uh, Interclub Luanda, Luanda, that side there. You're looking at the wrong side. I'm pointing you this side. <laughs> oh, okay. That side, there you go. There are the moments of celebration. Against the Angolan team. Why was it so special? It, it was so special because obviously uh, we dedicated that game to our uh, our late icon, um, Mr. Nelson Mandela. Mm. You know, and w at the back of our mind, we always told ourselves that you know what, with this one, we're just gonna go all out and, and win it for the South Africans as well. You know, because it, it wasn't for Kesa Chiefs uh, supporters only, but the entire nation, you know, was supporting us and they were behind us. All and the way. this team was, if I'm not mistaken, you were named Team of the Year in Africa. Yeah, yeah. You course, were a CAF yeah. team uh, of the year. Yes, yes, yeah. If I put you on the spot and I say player of the season in the Absa Premiership this season, one, is he a Chiefs player? And if he is, who? Uh, I'll be biased on this one. Uh. I think Tifo Mashima, is the, Tifo Mashima has been the most consistent. Hey, yeah, of course. We must give credit to, 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 to guys who are playing at, at ah, Defenders Union. <laughs> <laughs> and mind you, look, look hey? to me. Um, 
even the strikers, uh, uh, how, number one striker, how many goals did they, did they score? 10 or 11? Mm. So I think we must give it to, to, to the defense, you know, um, because as I'm saying that he's been the most consistent player for three seasons. We need to give credit uh, to Tifoma to Shamait. Hmm. <laughs> I, but I'm still not convinced that it's not just a case of defenders looking out for each no, other. No, they, they've, they've, they've been playing very well, to be quite honest. Look at the defensive record that they have. No, they're the, the best defense yeah. in the league, but you can't win a league, Nama Nil Nil. Someone has to put no, the but, ball in but, the net. But the mere fact is they've won the league. No, I know, but yes. if it was only defending, then it would have been nil nil. And Someone mind you, scored. Mind you, they were, they were part of scoring goals. As nah, well. Well, uh, yes, of yeah, course, they were true. part of scoring so goals. So if you give the award, you give it to Tefo Mashamaite. Exactly. Hmm. Right, okay. Before I let you go, a lot of questions have come in around where have you been? Uh, I'm, a li I'm a life practitioner. And and uh, life coach. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you giving motivational speaking. You do it privately, or you doing it in groups? In privately. Oh. Privately, and I'm also uh, studying Kabbalah. You studying? Kabbalah. Yeah. So Kabbalah is the is the is the world um, uh, oldest um, is the world uh, oldest body of spiritual wisdom, containing the the long hidden keys uh, to to the secret of the universe and as well as the keys to the mysteries of the, of the human heart and soul. Are we busy footy? <laughs> Kabbalah. Kabbalah? Yes. You study in Kabbalah? I'm studying Kabbalah, yes. Mtanta <laughs> Kubek. Do we call you a Kabbalah master? Maybe in a later stage. <laughs> Kabbalah master, sensei. Mtanta Kubek, asiaboga. Life coach. No, I like that. No, life yeah. coaching is important. A it's lot of people underestimate that. Yeah, eh? because the motivation behind this is to even change uh, our, our current uh, uh, players, you know, because I think they, they're going through under a, a lot of enorm enormous pressure, you know, in terms of having to actually handle their own um, emotions and all that, yeah. Same and, and of course, to, to, to make uh, correct decisions, decisions at the end of the day. Thank you very much for taking the time to be with us tonight. Thank we you so much. We appreciate it. You taught me. Kabbalah. I didn't even know. <laughs> yes, I thought I knew a lot of things. It's, it's, it's a very most uh, interesting uh, holistic discipline. So sure. You'll be my coach in Kabbalah. Thank you very much sure. to Tanta Kabeka for being with us.